another time for another film about a bootlegged toy. In this case, it's Spider-Man this time. As you can see here, there's Spider-Man, which I'm supposedly is supposed to be the black version of Spider-Man from the third Spider-Man trilogy, but unfortunately it looks nothing like it. As you can see here, it looks almost like a reverse of the, of the armor Spider-Man that's in the comic books. It's, it's black and silver. And on the right, you can see the normal Spider-Man. It looks as just just the same as in as it is in the movie. And here's the next one which looks more like the armor Spider-Man. But unfortunately it's would look more like the, the black suit Spider-Man from the Spider-Man movie, the third trilogy, the third installment. And um what else can I say? As you can see on each on each Spider-Man that you see they will have weaponry and I don't remember ever seeing a Spider-Man with weaponry in the movie or anywhere in the comics even. That's kind of a bit cheap and a bit dumb. So here's a gun from a Power Ranger um, series, which I don't just can't picture at the moment. And there's another one as well, which I find a bit clumsy and stupid. <coughs> and as you notice, inside their belts, they've got a light up. They have a light up belt, so that makes it a bit more cheap. And uh, you can see on the packaging. They use they use fake they use fake photos just to market the um action figures because I don't remember seeing Venom that that kind of gruesome with the long tongue and stuff like that and now and also on the back Peter Parker's wearing a symbiote suit which has never been worn in the movie and uh, what else that's it really just fake Spider-Man toys which are not done properly done very poorly but they still look kind of good though compared to the uh, previous toys I did so that's about it we make it